CTrader plugins are special algos whose main purpose is to give users easy access to various services. With CTrader plugins, you can extend the user interface of CTrader Desktop in several ways, like adding additional sections in the Active Symbol panel and the Trade Watch, creating your own chart frames as well as custom windows without necessarily using a CBOT or an indicator. In this video, we will demonstrate how you can add your own section in the Trade Watch panel using a plugin. Let's switch to the CTrader Algo section and navigate to the Plugins tab. We will create a new plugin by clicking on the New button. We will select a blank plugin, name it Previous Bar Info and press Create. Our plugin will contain a 2x2 grid that displays information about the last known bar prices for the M1 timeframe and the symbol whose name is USDJPY. First we will add a new tab to the Trade Watch section. We will name it Previous Bar Info and set it as selected. Then let's add a simple WebView component in our plugin. We will display the ctrader.com website inside the WebView. Let's build the code and see the plugin added in our Trade Watch panel. You can use the WebView component to display any website inside your plugin just by changing the URL address. You can even create different plugins for different websites you use in daily trading and enable and disable them in CTrader settings based on your trading activity. We will navigate back to our plugin source code to implement our grid. First of all, let's remove the WebView component and let's replace it with a grid object. We will align our grid to the center of the plugin and show the grid's grid lines. We will build the grid and see how it replaces the WebView component. We will go back and declare the four necessary text boxes. We will add one text box for each of the open, high, low, and close values. We will also declare a bars variable that will allow us to retrieve the minute bars data. We will initialize the text boxes and we will align them to the middle of the cell. Now that we have initialized our text boxes, we will add them to our grid cells. Let's build the source code and see our plugin again. At last we will subscribe to the tick event and update our values on every tick. Let's build our plugin again and see it in our trade section. In this video we have demonstrated how to develop a simple plugin for the Trade Watch panel section. We hope that you found the video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments section and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.